And the Bills have now confirmed uh, the reports that Ian Rappaport had um, that he did FaceTime with his team, so his breathing tube is out, breathing on his own. Uh, the neurological situation appears very good. Scott is showing you some of the tweets there. And, um, I mean, the fact that on Friday morning he is FaceTiming with his team, uh, in my view, and people have different beliefs, is nothing short of a miracle from God. I mean, I thought we were watching a guy die in yeah, real time, just I, to be honest with I you. I thought he was dead Monday night. Yeah. I did. His and, uncle said he died twice on the field. Yeah, you hate to say that, but I think everybody's view was we just watched the first NFL player, at least in our time, die right there on the field. Yeah, and, and you know, even well after it was over into Scott Van Pelt's coverage on Sports Center, my wife, you know, I'm just sitting there watching it when they don't really have anything new to say. And she said, what, 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 are, you, what are you watching for right here? And I said, I'm just watching – that I hope there's some good news. Like, hey, they've got him stable at the hospital or something. I was like, I'm just, I, I felt like I just watched a guy die in real time, and I just can't get past that. Yeah, in, in front of 70,000 yeah. people in a national television audience and his teammates. You know, weird things happen and his mom situations in situations like this. Yeah. You remember, we, we talked about Hank Gathers. We brought him up as one of these athletes that just, you know, just at, at peak condition, yeah. uh, the height of their life, their sporting career just, just, just died. And I go back to that Loyola team and that magical run they had in the NCAA tournament. Look, and they didn't finish the deal, but I was talking to Dunaway before the show. As much as I like this Bengals team, you've just got the feeling now with everything behind Buffalo that they're going to have this momentum. And I could see this magical ride, and I could see our first really public appearance from him oh, being geez. at the Super Bowl. Yeah. Can you imagine the emotion? And I mean, I got choked up just thinking about it earlier, the emotion in that FaceTime call. For those players who were so distraught they couldn't even finish a game and him waking up and realizing that an entire nation that can't get unified about anything was unified behind him. Um, I mean, I just cannot imagine the emotion involved in this. Yeah, really an amazing story and uh, one uh, you guys continue to be excited about and it is uh, something uh, the football world in America has been watching on, on many different levels.